Hey guys, I'm Colwan. I've got another Transformers video for you today, and this is an old one, but still kind of a good one. This is Transformers Robots in Disguise 2001 um, Rail Racer. It is a uh, bullet train team comprised of, okay, let's see if I got this right here. This one is um, Rail Spike. This one is Rapid Run. And then this guy is Midnight Express. So let me go ahead and Rail Sprite, Rapid Run, Midnight Express. And as you can see, they're all they're all bullet trains. And let's take a closer look at at, at um you know what? I completely forgot their names. So I'm just gonna call it by what's rated on them. This is 500 Cybertron, and he is a sleek looking train. All this I want to say is a lot of clear. No, this is. God, I can't remember if that's clear plastic or not. I hope it isn't. Oh, no. This is all clear plastic. So this is actually the Japanese release. Yeah, that's a lot of clear plastic up in here. This is the Japanese release. And what's the difference between the Japanese release and the American release? Well, the Japanese release did a lot of clear plastic and then painted over. And the American release did a lot of opaque plastic and then put in individual plastic windows so there's a whole different model molding system going on you got this really big huge canopy up here nice and sleek and underneath if you didn't know what you're looking at you wouldn't be able to tell this transformed i mean yeah there's the fists there but like everything compacts together really nicely this is the uh, middle guy and like he's kind of a chunkier style bullet train but still Nice and sleek bullet train with the windows and, and, and the big old canopy and really hard to tell what's going on with the underside. He's got all nice wheels. And then there's this guy in the end who's kind of more of a hover train than anything and he's not transformed properly. This right here isn't transformed properly. Again, all clear plastic, which I'm really afraid of it breaking one day. But this is the original one that I got. I didn't get this one back in 2001. But it's probably about that. This is probably still a 20-year-old Transformer. But 20, 24-year-old Transformer now. This thing is getting old up in there, man. So here's Film Noir Spider-Man. There he is next to them all standing up. We got soda can. Yeah, these guys are big dudes. Uh, when I got these guys, they were in separate boxes with card backs. And yeah, that is very out of scale. These guys should be a lot bigger than either of these two. And I've got the car robots um let's transform these guys into their individual robot modes yes you heard that correctly individual robot modes ooh ooh there's something wrong there that that's not good i'm going to have to take that apart later on you know what hold on a second let's go ahead and open this up live on camera Look at that. This is the hazards of leaving batteries in their things for too damn long. Look at that thing. That's funny. This one's not too bad, but that. That is not good at all. We're going to go ahead and put those over there, and I will throw them out later. And let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's all corroded and nasty up in here. And the panel is all bent out of shape now, but I'm going to take that and this. And we will go ahead and continue. So continuing on with the transformation. Bring down the back end here. Flip out these toes here. 
Ignore these things right here. These parts come into play later on in combined mode. Split the front apart. Okay, and there's these big hinges on either side. This part here, ignore that. Yeah, and I'll fold that down. That becomes the chest. Turn the head around. Bring these shoulder panels down and around. Open up the skirt. There we go. We we have him in his combine in his not his combined mode. His his robot mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and arm him up. And we'll talk about him real quick before I set him aside and do the other one. So he's got this weird looking thing where he's all tall and lanky, which makes sense because, you know, he was just transformed out of a long, lanky, you know, cylindrical kind of pointy thing. He's got no backpack. He's got some interesting legs here with the exposed detailing by turning them around. Nice paint and stuff. He's got these missile pods. And it's funny how this one's got more missiles in it than this pod. I don't know why they did it that way, but okay. Articulation. He's got a swivel at the neck. Look at that head sculpt. That is a nice looking head sculpt right there. He's got a joint here and then another joint here with a really high up double bowl jointed elbow. It's it's two bowls on, on, on the same pin. Nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist, uh, mainly because of not only his transformation to robot mode, but his transformation to combined mode. And he's got ball jointed hips with a nice knee bend. And then this hinge in here becomes part of combination mode. And then there's the swivel there and maybe kind of on the toes. Well, he's got, no, that toe doesn't work like that. It works like that and like that, but it is limited. So there is... What did I name this guy? Cybertron 500. There is Cybertron 500 right there. Now let's go ahead and transform this one. Pull this whole thing out back here. Open up the back here. Pull everything out and away. Now these hip joints here need to be turned around and brought down like that, like that. We gotta transform the other foot here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When you transform this, it starts off like this. Pull it down, turn it around, then put forward the toe and bring that out. And this one, you're going to want to spin around also so that they have matching feet. The feet are the same color. It's important that your feet be the same color. Is there a panel here? Yes. We can flip down this crotch plate here. Lift it up, actually. There's a whole slide thing. If it's like, Do you see how much clear plastic is all over this guy? He is like, like, like at least 80% clear plastic. Look at all that. that is, this is all painted. This is all clear and painted. Lift up the shoulder panels here. Bring down the hands. Uh, over here was weapon storage. Pull that out. Pull that down. And now we can do his very nice head reveal. Oh, come on. There we go. He looks... Very oddly proportioned. <laughs> um, he, or did I talk about his gun over here? He's got this cool bulky looking blaster gun. It is supposed to light up, but mine stopped lighting up a long time ago. <clears throat> These here, here is his missile. This clips together like this. That goes up there. Turn that around and load that in. 
you see that? You know, I'm not even going to block it. Oh, went farther that time. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that down there. It's got this cool, bulky-looking science fiction weapon. And if you turn up this handle here, it's like a scope thing going on. <clears throat> so, I like that head sculpt. That's a good-looking head sculpt. They all share kind of a similar train-shaped head. Uh, he's got a hinge at the base of his head and a ball joint inside the shoulders. So you can potentially get a whole lot of really nice head motion out of this guy. He's got ball jointed shoulders on clear plastic. A uh, nice multi-jointed double elbow. Like his gun's in the way over here. But on this arm here you can get a proper double joint going on which is nice. There's nice molded in detailing on the underside of his shoulders there. No waist joint, mainly because of a transformation. Universal jointed hips at the knee swivel. Nice big old knee bend. And yeah, you could kind of call that kind of articulated ankles. Straighten that down. Straighten everything out. Uh, he is definitely the big boy pants. He becomes the legs in, in their combined mode. Let's go and stick him over there. And then we'll talk about Railstar. We've already talked about their individual vehicles. So let's go ahead and transform him. He has gotten really floppy. And he is actually the biggest offender of parts forming. If you lose that part, this is what you're left with. There's the missile there. So, come down here to the back of the train, extend out these train bits. Oh, does this whole thing come down? It does, okay. The whole thing slides out, and then you extend that all out into the feet, like this. Okay, and he did some weird stuff. This panels on either side, open up. Then this whole thing. Oh, you see that the, you got some cool molded in detailing in the back there and up there in the front. Up. Straighten out the arms. Does this go all the way up? Oh, yes. This hinges. These hinge all the way up. And then this part comes down. Oh, here's a waist joint here. Turn him around at the waist joint. Then you can open up his head. And there we have this dude. Oh, extend down the legs. The legs extend down too. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's no... I thought there might have been an arm swivel in there. There is no... So start a drinking game. How many times can I pop off limbs of my toys? This guy, he ends up kind of the worst of the bunch. Like, none of them really have backpacks, but, like, he is just so plain. I don't know. Very, very simple, very direct. And I keep thinking he's back heavy, but he's got these... Actually, he is back heavy. If I fold those up, he's not going to be able to stand. So, by them giving him those long heel spurs you see how long those heel spurs are that that's very yeah he ain't gonna fall over this part here is meant to become like a shield and then this is a club and you can load it in here and fire it off but the spring mechanism never really locks in place very well so it doesn't really load Put that all the way down. Put that in his hand. And we've got this cool shield. And we've got a cool club up over here. And again, you know, he, he's kind of the, the, the plainest one of the group. And he, he's got articulation. He does have that. He's got drastically different head. Like all the other, the other two have like mouths. He's got this whole faceplate thing going on. And like really, really restricted movement on the head. Like the canopy cockpit is right in the back of his head there. 
ball jointed shoulders, elbow hinge, backwards elbow hinge even, and wrist up and down. He is the only one with a waist swivel. That's cool. Ball jointed hips, very nice knee joint, and really nothing at the ankles except for being able to close them maybe, close the feet. And again, so much clear plastic. I am su surprised this guy hasn't broken by now. <sighs> there they all are. Okay. He'll fall to the side, but he won't fall backwards. There's at least that. We've got Film Noir Spider Man. We've got Scourge. I've got Hubcap here. I've got Soda Can. And the car robots. Separately, they're not bad. They could be better, but this guy's intended purpose is to combine. So, let's go ahead and get into that. First, we're going to want to take all the weapons out of each of their hands. It's interesting, they, they screwed in solid plastic ball joint pegs for these shoulders, but that guy ended up with clear ball shoulder peg things. Let me put all this down here and we will get into that later. So, fold up that panel, push that down, turn the head around, Oh, no. Okay. Lay the head flat down and then transform the head back around. Push that all down. The arms need to be collapsed up into the way they would be for transformation. Why are you not hinging? There we go. Okay. Hinge those up. Pinch that up, there we go, and we have the pants. Very nice looking pants. Let's take this guy now, and fold this stuff to be like that, and fold that down, and the arms need to compact back to the way they were in vehicle mode. Turn, open up the chest again and push that back into place. And I really want to say that's, that's it. Turn that to face that direction. And then for right now, we're just going to put him over there. <sighs> okay, so yes, I am having to check how to transform this guy because it's been a while. We're going to basically transform this guy back into his rail, into his train mode. Put his arms back up. Um... This head fold away. His head does fold. Oh, the head goes 180, then compresses back in. <laughs> Again, breaking my. Oh, that's spring loaded, even. I didn't even know that was spring loaded. That is cool. All right. Push the head back up over. Like that. Turn the legs around. Oh, yeah, we got to close this thing back up. Swivel this around and close that back around. So, yeah, turn them back into train, and then you can lift the head straight out. I just noticed he's got some really cool molded-in tech detailing just underneath that clear plastic dome. Can you see that? Yeah, the glare is probably bouncing off it really badly. I apologize. Then come back here and then split the whole back end of the train and bring it all forward and then hinge it. 
There's a hinge and a double hinge. Look, again, look at all this clear plastic. Look at all this clear plastic. Bring the arms around. Then we can bring out the hands. There's the thumbs. Close these toes over a bit. Bring out the hands. There's the thumbs. Orientate the arms a bit. And here we have the upper torso. God, this guy is crazy, man. Okay, so this guy here actually, I'm not done transforming him. Because what I need to do next is fold that back so that we can come up here and these two tabs are gonna hook into here. And like you almost gotta force it. And this little gray bump here is gonna go into that hole right there also. Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. So that goes there. There we go. There we go, okay. Do you, do you see this monstrosity? Oh, this gets folded down there. Hold on. There's another swivel right here. You're gonna swivel this whole thing around. Then you can fold that part down. And I know you can't see that, I know. Hold on. And now I've gotta scooch closer. So as I was showing, okay, so this whole thing right here is like this. You gotta swivel it around, then you can fold that down. And then you'll see those vents kind of over his shoulders. And then these, again, clear plastic. Why did I decide to review this guy? These blue hooks are going to go into those slots. Do I need to keep the... No, that needs to go down like that. That needs to go down like that. Oh, there's another, see this up in here? I have to slide that whole thing backwards. And then that makes enough space for the back of his train mode to come in here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Guy, this part has to go into this rail here, and then these blue bits go into those translucent bits. Oh, boy. Trying to push things together while other things are wanting to slide. There. We go. Then I can fold down the backpack after I get the legs up out of the way. Fold down the backpack, fold down that part, fold back the nose cone. Now let's bring the pants back in. Now let's bring the pants back in. It's like it won't go in unless I'm directly watching it.
And here we have Rail Racer almost, almost good to go. These legs. You could jigger with one thing, another thing pops loose. You could jigger with another, another thing pops loose. Fidgety, fidgety, fidgety. <laughs> Holy crap, this guy's a mess. And he is back heavy as all hell. This is, this is what you get. This is Rail Racer in his combined mode. And you know what? I don't even want to mess around with the weapons. The weapon combination is really weird and gro uh, really weird and not that great. Let's just look at the robot himself, and he's a very good hodgepodge combination of the other three. Everything does something. You got the pants, you got the arms. Really, the only guy that's kind of lacking is the guy that's stuck being just the torso with a big old giant backpack hanging off the back. <sighs> Should you? Get your own R.I.D. Rail Racer. Well, maybe not because this is apparently on eBay complete. He's like $250. Uh, mine's beat up and loose and not wanting to stand up straight. He's a novelty. He is definitely an old style novelty. There is Film Noir Spider-Man. There is Scourge. Soda Can. Hubcap. He definitely a big boy. <clears throat> Here are the car guys. Yeah, they're on camera still. Can I recommend him? If you get him... Get the American release because there's way less clear plastic and you won't need to worry about breaking him every time you transform him. But again, he's still going to be like a $250 transformer. I can't really recommend him. If you like trains, if this at all appeals to you in any way and you're willing to spend the money on it, go ahead, enjoy yourself. But... If you don't already have one, I really wouldn't bother with him. Because he really he was fun for when he came out, and he was still fun around the 2010 era. But we have come so much farther with Transformers in general. If you want a fun, enjoyable Transformer, there's better stuff out there. If you like trains, if you think this guy just in general looks cool, and like, you're not going to play with him. You're going to transform him, you're going to put him on the shelf, and he's going to look good on the shelf. That is it. He is absolutely a display piece. You want a nice display piece? Go get him. Otherwise, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother. I'm babbling here. Let me stop this. I'm Colwyn. That has been Transformers R.I.D. Rail Racer. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. No, it happened. I had just finished filming the stuff. I had just set it up to up to, to 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 edit it together and stuff, and I went to go take them apart. And it happened. One of these clear tabs got busted off in there. Like I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed. <sighs> Will I be able to combine him again? Probably, but the next time I combine him and then take him apart, I might break another tab off. So again, to reiterate, you you get this guy. If you get the Japanese version. It's going to be you combine him and put him on the shelf and never play with him again. Yeah. It happened.